Now, in case you think that Nantucket is totally stuck in the 19th century, we had to show you this. And this. Cameras. See this one here? The little round thing? And that one up there, covered in black. They are the eyes of the world on Nantucket. The World Wide Web, that is. Competing island publishing firms have installed live cams at either end of Main Street, aimed at each other, dueling webcams. Down the street had a camera at a different location. We decided that we really wanted people to be able to see people up close and personal on the sidewalk. So we, we put it up here, and um, then a couple days later, they kind of changed their location and put one up too. Well, that's not exactly right. We actually had a Main Street camera up for about two months before we actually publicly put it on the internet. A little friendly competition? Well, I, I suppose it's friendly competition. I'm not sure. Whatever it is, thousands each week view both cameras from around the globe, sometimes looking for family. Well, they had a cell phone here, an older gentleman and his wife from England, and they were looking into the camera, and they were talking to their son, who was in China, watching them here on the internet. And local shopkeepers have figured it out, too. People who were buying items from across country, I know that uh, these two shopkeepers right here, they go out there and they hold the goods up to the camera and tell the person to get on the internet, and they see the jacket or <laughs> the scarf or whichever. Yes, the webcams have become very important. Just ask the folks at Nantucket Looms who work in the same room with one of the cameras. They needed to do some ironing. And I was looking around for the outlet that I normally work at. And I grabbed the wrong plug. So the camera then went off. I'll tell you, within minutes we find out because of the way people look at it. Little did I know what kind of havoc I caused worldwide. Now, there's another camera on Nantucket we want to tell you about. Meet Gino Gang, intrepid photographer, reporter, editor, and all-around producer of What's Going On Around Here. It's a two-hour TV show every single evening on Nantucket's Cable Channel 3, starring Gino, his occasional sidekick Michael Kopko, and anyone they happen to come across. Just whoever, wherever, talking about whatever. It's totally entertaining to do. To, people enjoy watching other people talk about anything. As long as they feel comfortable, and, and they're interesting, and they're characters. We're all characters. We all have a story to tell. What do you do when you're not working for the phone company? I'm a house husband. A house husband? Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> He's yeah. kept. Yeah, we're all kept. You're all kept yeah. men with the phone company? Of course. Is that true? Secrets of Bell Atlantic. Back home, Gino transfers his tape into his Macintosh and edits the show. It airs for a week, and then there's a new one. I've been trying to write for a living for about seven years. Yes, Gino's perfected cheap hometown TV. But wait, it's not just talking heads on the street, oh no. Here's something else Gino's perfected. The drive-by shooting, Nantucket style. This guy is the greatest guy, too. Butler. We'll do him. Butler! Guess what, man? The concept is simple. Gino mounts the camera on the dash of his trusty van and goes trolling for interviews. Gallagher said you have a nice show, and he it's loved it. Hey, thanks, Butler. That's him right there, the tree man. He's the tree He's man. He's the tree man. I see him up there, man. When the drive-by shootings get old, it's time for a That's featured all. guest. I, I Just flip the camera around and tape and ride. In the winter, I go up to Boston every week for two or three days. I have to go up to go to the parties that I write about. I think part of why I do it is because of my um, background in hitchhiking. You know, it was great meeting people between, like, exit 8 and 16, and, and these people know that they're going to let you off at exit 16, and they're just spilling their guts to you. Everything was breaking apart, and I thought we could really carve out a life there, and I was imagining, you know... Some... Had enough of real people? Then Gino goes cruising with mobile puppet Phineas T. Grunge. Gino, something about your shocks. You're right. It's kind of bumpy, isn't it? But, whoa. Just kidding, folks. <laughs> hey, don't laugh. Nantucketers are watching, and Gino's selling commercials just like the big guys. Ted Turner. He said, early to bed, early to rise, advertise, advertise, advertise. Go ahead. Just going to say, uh... I hope he's not on at 7.30. That'd be a competition. <gasps> exactly. It looks very entertaining, it does too. Does indeed. <laughs> Chronicle will be back after tonight's Lottery Live. <laughs>